Hello all, it's Mark here again, and today we're going to be learning Henrietta by the Fratellis. Um, Fratellis are a fantastic band, I think that they're quite underrated actually, um, not many people seem to know about them. Um, but hopefully this video will change that, um, because all you guys will be telling all your friends about this fantastic video, and hopefully we'll get the ball rolling and then all the Fratelli fans will become bigger. Right, okay, it's all good. Um, so, uh, you need to know your bar chords for this song. Uh, if you don't, you don't know this bar chord shape, the major bar chord shape, six strings, then it's best to probably uh, go on to my other videos um, showing the chords before we do it, but I'll give a quick run through of it now, alright? Okay, so let's, uh, let's get started at my fretboard with a B chord. So, we're starting here on the seventh frets, okay, with your first finger um, barring the whole lot, so make sure your thumb is just under the middle of the, the curve of the neck, okay, so you're pushing against it. And then you put your second finger here on the um, on the eighth fret on the third string, third finger here on the ninth fret on the fifth string, little finger here on the ninth fret on the fourth string. And then what we're doing is we're doing this kind of bass and then treble. So down on the bass strings, it doesn't really matter if, if you hit like say the third string down, but what you, what you want to try and avoid are the top strings. All right, so then it doesn't kind of have this nice contrast sound, yeah. Okay, so it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, down, and the last one is all across all the strings. So down, up, down, up, down, up. All of them, yeah. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And on, on that one, you staccato it, so you just take the pressure off. Right. And then we do sixteenth notes. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down. All right. All that is is the same chord shape. The then G sharp, uh, fourth fret as a root note. F sharp. Same picking, yeah. And then, and then we do an E seven chord. But we don't do like a, a standard E7 like that. We do one like this. All right. So this is uh, seventh fret, fifth string, second finger, sixth fret, fourth string, first finger, seventh fret on the third string, third finger. And you try and staccato each each one of them. So like that, yeah. All the way through. then into like the pre-chorus thing. So that is an actual E chord, but this time we're gonna do it rather than like this, we're gonna do it like that. It sounds exactly the same, but notice the difference. We've just got these fingers rather than these fingers doing it, all right? Uh, pretty clever, eh? Yeah. So it's the e, e chord, e, e major. F sharp again, so it's the same as the last one. Then B, A sharp, A, G sharp. Like this. Get get that strumming pattern going on. And then F sharp again. B then just G sharp, so you don't do the run, yeah? Do it again. And then just down to G, two, three, four, F sharp. Nice and easy, yeah? Okay? If you don't get it, rewind the video, just keep going over it. it you, you will get it eventually, alright? And then we do this little thing where we are doing the chorus. So that's B again, 7th fret, C sharp. Again, we're still doing this bass treble, bass treble thing, yeah? Okay? okay so. C sharp, and then we go down all, all the way down to an E. This is why we use this these fingers because then it's, we can easily get back into that bar chord shape. Okay, so an E, G, and F sharp, and then again. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then. 
then we do this pretty cool little riff. We could do this. Okay, now just in case you wondered what that was, all I'm doing here is we're kind of doing the same as the verse, but then rather than doing B, G sharp, we're doing B and then the G sharp arpeggio, alright? All that is is B, and then we do this. So it's um, 11th fret on the 5th string, 10th fret on the 4th string, 8th fret on the 3rd string, and then 9th fret on the 2nd string. So it's almost like, you know, like a C chord shape. Like down here, like that C, you know, everyone knows the C chord, hopefully. Okay, it's a bit like that, but then we're just doing it up here. Starting on a G sharp note. Okay, so B, G sharp, then F sharp. Then we, then we do this E7 chord that we did earlier, but, but we do it sequentially. So, then we add this E note at the top here on the fifth fret on the second string. Back down again. So that's seven, fifth string, sixth fret on the fourth string, seven on the third string, five on the second string, and back down again. Okay. by the Fratellis. Great tune, um, it really really gets your hand going with, with bar chords and things because uh, it, well that's all it is, bar chords, so um, should be good fun to learn. If your hand gets tired don't don't forget to do like the little stretch exercise with, with the thumb like that, sorts that muscle out there which is the one that you're using. Alright, other than that mark out for now, any questions or anything email me and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.